Well, protesters in Iraq have gathered near the Danish embassy in Baghdad, angered by another incident of Quran burning, this time in Copenhagen. These rallies are happening after the Swedish embassy in that same city was stormed on Thursday. You're watching live pictures now from Baghdad. You were caught last month an Iraqi refugee who is a former militia member burned the Quran during a protest in Stockholm, triggering outrage around the world. Well, let's speak to our correspondent on the ground there, Mahmoud Abdel Wahid. He joins us from Baghdad. Mahmoud, you're not far from the embassy. What have you been seeing? Well, we have been seeing hundreds of angry protesters. They, they gathered here, coming from the capital, Baghdad, and from other provinces as well, chanting against the desecration of the Holy Quran. And they are telling us that they're, they're here today raising, raising copies of uh, the Holy Quran and of the Iraqi uh, flag to express their rejection of uh, the desecration of the Holy Quran and the Iraqi flag. Uh, three times in less than a month, in both two times in Sweden and one time in Copenhagen. If I can ju just move out of the frame so that you can get a bigger picture of what's happening here. As you can see right behind me, they're raising the Iraqi flags and copies of the Holy uh, Quran. They also, this place is not far from the fence of the green zone. Remember that last night they tried to storm uh, the green zone to reach the Danish embassy following the desecration of the Holy Quran, the burning of the Iraqi flag in front of the Iraqi embassy in uh, Copenhagen. As you know that these uh, protesters have been also calling on the international community to draft laws, to, to draft laws to prevent the aggression, the desecration of uh, holy uh, books. Mahmoud, attacks or protests targeting two foreign embassies now, that's becoming a security challenge, surely, for the Iraqi authorities there. Well, Iraqi security forces have been striving to prevent them last night from reaching the Danish embassy inside the heavily fortified green zone. Remember, this is this is very close to the fence of the, the green zone. So they, they want to say that they're sending a message from here next to the green zone that they, they, are, they, are, they can reach the Danish embassy and they're threatening to take matters into their own hands. Remember, today in the southern city of Basra, angry protesters uh, set fire on caravan, caravans belonging to a Danish uh, company in the southern city uh, of Basra. Meanwhile, the government has been working on different uh, uh, directions. It has sent uh, a message today addressing the organization of uh, uh, Islamic cooperation, uh, uh, expressing its desire to draft laws to prevent uh, Islamophobia and to prevent the hate speech. The government has been calling on the Islamic organization uh, 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 for cooperation to hold an emergency meeting to uh, face the Islamophobia and the desecration of uh, holy books. But meanwhile, the government has also issued a statement, namely the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, assuring foreign uh, embassies that the government is uh, committed to protect diplomatic missions uh, by virtue of the Geneva Conventions, which regulates the diplomatic uh, ties between uh, countries. And I see now as well, Iran's foreign ministry has summoned the Danish ambassador there to protest against the desecration of the Quran in Copenhagen to uh, Mahmoud Abdul Wahid on the ground there for us at those protests in Baghdad. Thank you, Mahmoud.